Okay, it's a little stormy out tonight. Thought I'd film the last one for you all about a request I had from earlier this week on how to create a calming bag or box that you can have to help you relax if you're a teenager and feeling a lot of stress. There have been a lot of hard things people have been going through during this time of COVID-19 and this pandemic. So I really like to focus on using the senses to help us to relax. So if you can grab a couple items as we're talking, that's great, or take some notes. For me, I find it's really helpful to have a couple special notes that people have written you. So I have some that my kids made me that said, Mom, I love you. Those are really special. I also love to have some photos of family members that I hold on to helps helps you to remember happy times and reflect on them so any of those little items that you can find that people have given you that are special if you have any little items that maybe a friend made you this one a friend made it was really special it's a shell from them walking on the beach my kids like to find shells when we go to an island. That's really special for us as well. I like to do arts and crafts as a way to cope. And also my kids enjoy that. So often they will create things like this rainbow loom bracelet. These are very simple to make. It's a really good distraction tool. Peppermints, any kind of small candy, that can be good to have in your coping bag. Simple things like chapstick. Uh, it can be any type that you like that has a special flavor that's calming to you. I often like to keep a small pad of paper, a couple pens, so I could jot some ideas down. It's really good to schedule a worry time during the day so that your worries aren't surfacing at night. Try to address those worries during the day either with the people that are they're involved in or in your own life. And that way at nighttime when you're jotting down ideas, it might just be like, oh, I forgot to unload the dishwasher or I forgot to set my shoes out for the next day, something small and it's not too much of a worry. It's also really nice to journal at night if you like that sort of thing. I have found it to be really helpful for a lot of people, including myself. I like to jot down five things that I'm grateful for and five or 10 things that I feel like I accomplished that day can be helpful. Sometimes simple is really the best for their coping bag. So if you have a little jar of clay or Play-Doh, just to kind of mash in your hands and just work out any last stress that you have during the day. Um, small mementos. I know um, my kids often like to play with these little flipperoo toys. They're very simple, very cheap. Sometimes a little bell from a special occasion. We often enjoy caroling for people who are homebound or um, in a nursing facility. So this is a bell from one of those occasions where my kids and I went and sang. Um, when we lived in Alaska, we participated in some fun camps and made some little crafts. I like to put those in my bag. Sometimes it can be nice to have a small little craft that has special meaning. These origami creations are fun to make. Some people call them fortune tellers. Go Noodle has a whole tutorial on them. They're quite fun and my kids made this one and it's great. It has all kinds of special meanings like smile, you're important, breathe in, calm down, don't be scared, you are loved. Believe in yourself, let it go. So those are fun. It's often nice to have some lotion to apply to your hands and show yourself love. I like to have some headphones handy because it's nice to listen to music or meditation or some type of calming story at bedtime and that way you're not distracting anybody else in your family. So those are some simple things that I like to put in my coping bag. I look forward to hearing what yours are. So have a wonderful 
day, wonderful night, wonderful weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're up to. And I hope that this brings you peace and joy and courage. So namaste, be well.